Hello my lovely viewers, how is everyone doing? I hope very good. Today is a beautiful sunny day in Los Angeles and I've decided to speak to you about something enlightening because I had no idea about these things until recently. Some of them I didn't know about until a year ago. And uh, thanks to my channel, I have wonderful viewers like you that share fabulous information. Thank you. And please do not hesitate writing me comments, negative, positive, it doesn't matter. I welcome all because I see an opportunity of learning in every single comment. Even if it's not very positive, it's fine. I am, uh, you know, I, I'm a learning uh, machine. So I learn from everything that comes uh, my way. Please share more with me, comment, uh, let's open conversations and discussions about everything, all the videos that I make. So these sources of carbs and sugars, I didn't know about. And I knew maybe in the back of my head, some of them were like, oh, okay, they have sugar, but I didn't know that if you ingest a lot, a big quantity, it could literally um, prohibit you from going into ketosis, okay? If you're trying to get into ketosis and you're at the beginning of your journey, these are important so you can pay att special attention. Some of them are not labeled, it's very strange. Uh, for example, number two is not labeled. I'll tell you first. So first thing first, lemon. I uh, used to squeeze half a lemon uh, or almost a whole lemon in water and I'll drink it. One ounce of lemon has three carbs. That's sugar. Carbs are sugar. So be aware of it. If you are squeezing lemon the whole day, if you squeeze three lemons in between your fish and your morning, actually the morning uh, drink is the most severe one. Why? Because it will trigger your sugar cravings. Because if you have been fasting for eight hours sleeping and then all of a sudden you wake up and you have a lemon with water, Especially if you make the water hot, what it, what it does, it pushes the sugar through your veins much faster. Lukewarm water with lemon. What I do is when I wake up in the morning, I put a little bit, a quarter teaspoon of uh, salt, good salt, and then I put a quarter teaspoon of um, baking soda in the morning instead of uh, the lemon. Lemon is sugar, remember that, it's a fruit, okay? So that's the number one source that I thought I should let you know about because I know most of us I have heard that you know lemon and water is excellent in the morning. If you're on the ketogenic diet or you're on a high carb, um, high fat, low carb diet, be careful with that. Okay, doesn't mean you have to cut it out. Just be careful and be aware of it. Number two, tea. Tea is a carb. Can you believe that? <laughs> so some teas have higher carbs than others. Some can be three, four, five carbs per eight ounces. Depends how strong you brew it. So I used to have 10 cups of tea a day, even if it's herbal tea, they have carbs. Carbs are sugar again. So be aware of it and be careful. And uh, the lighter the tea, the better. And uh, don't drink too much tea. Uh, you know, in, the, in, the, in the, the Asian culture, the tea, the cups are really tiny. And the tea is concentrated, but super tiny. You don't need to drink big quantities to get the effect, okay? So number two was tea, and that's the one that I said that's not labeled. Unbelievable. I've never seen a label on a tea that says what it has. Um, it has the vitamins and minerals, but it doesn't have the carbs, okay? Sometimes also keep in mind that labeling is not required for anything under one gram, so it says zero. If it's under one gram of carbs, they put zero. Uh, and then if the measurement is one teaspoon or uh, one tablespoon, Imagine how many carbs it is for a cup. If one, one, one tablespoon has one carb or less than one carb, multiply that by the amount of tablespoons in one cup. And that's the amount of carbs. Very high carbs it can become. Even one, zero carbs can be a lot of carbs. Okay, so that's number two. Number three, half and half. If you're having coffee, tea, chai, decaf in the morning and you're putting half and half, switch that to um, um, heavy whipping cream. Heavy whipping cream has zero carbs and might have carbs because like I said, sometimes they're not, they're not obliged to la label, it, the, label the carb when it's under one gram. So be aware of it, use, use very little and I highly suggest you use butter. If you're gonna have any sort of drink, blend it with butter, you know? Butter will turn the whole drink white if you're not 
if you don't want to drink a, a dark uh, drink, like a decaf or something, or coffee, blend it with the wood butter. Butter is much better for you. Uh, stevia, stevia powder. Some stevia powders have one gram of uh, one gram of carbs, believe it or not, per tablespoon. Unbelievable, I didn't know. The fact that they bleach it and they process it, it turns it into a carb. The best way to consume stevia, I say consume it in a leaf. Get a dried leaf, you can buy them from Amazon. Uh, I'm still building my page on my website for the products that I recommend uh, using. Uh, but uh, use the leaf, put it in, and then uh, uh, get, it, get the leaf out by, uh, by uh, using a, uh, what do you call it, a filter or something like that, okay? So that's number five. Number six, this is very, nobody talks about this anywhere. But I realized if I have any creams that have honey, your skin has pores and it eats. You know, if you put anything with, with carbs or honey in your cream, you will get the sugar in your stomach, in your, in your body. So skin is a form of, uh, it's, 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 it's an organ and it digests food that you put on top of it. Little babies, you know, toddlers, when they start eating like 30% of their food, they consume it through their neck and their mouth and, and their hands, the pores. So keep in mind that's a way of ingesting uh, also foods. Oh, uh, if you put honey products that are have honey or have carbs on your skin, you will ingest those carbs. Pay very close attention to that because it's nowhere. Nobody has written about this anywhere. I haven't seen it. So that's uh, sugars through the skin. Number seven, this should be obvious, but I, I cannot, I see this everywhere on Instagram. People ingesting chocolate dark chocolate, thinking that it's healthy. Even if it's 90%, have you ever tried 90% dark chocolate? It's very, very bitter. 90% dark chocolate has 10% sugar, uh, cane sugar, high fructose corn syrup, super high in carbohydrates. Stay away from that. If you crave sugar, um, if you crave uh, uh, chocolate, make your own. How do you make it? Very easy. Grab cacao powder. I will make a recipe for this. Cacao powder, uh, heavy whipping cream, cacao butter, which has zero carbs, and uh, cacao uh, sugar, um, cacao powder has carbs, but very little. So cacao powder, heavy whipping cream, cacao butter, and a little bit of stevia. If you can steep the leaves and uh, have the liquid from the stevia and you mix it in there. That's the way to make chocolate. You can put it in the freezer or leave it outside and you can eat it. It's delicious, okay? And it doesn't have the sugar that dark chocolates have. It's unbelievable how many people are on the ketogenic diet and they ingest, uh, uh, and they ingest sugar. The purpose of the ketogenic diet is getting you away from sugars. So even if it says 90%, there is a whole 10% of sugar in there. Do not ingest, do not buy those dark chocolates okay and then lastly this should be obvious as well and uh, one of my viewers commented that uh, I used on my one of my pancakes almond flour he asked me if uh, if it's okay to use uh, coconut flour coconut flour is loaded with sugar why because it comes from a fruit coconut is a fruit and it has fructose so uh, the fact dehydrating it and pulverizing it doesn't remove the sugar the sugar is still there. The only product that comes from coconut that doesn't have sugar is coconut oil. Coconut butter is loaded with sugar. Coconut flour is loaded with sugar. Some websites say that it is uh, keto approved. I would really use very little of it. One, one tablespoon maximum in your uh, whatever you're doing. This is only if you're really watching your sugars carefully. If you're not and you're keto adapted and you've done the ketogenic diet for a long time, you can have these a little bit in moderation. But if you're at the beginning or if your weight is, has stalled and you don't know what's going on, these could be sources. These are eight sources of carbs that, that we're, we're literally not aware of. And then lastly, I have to remind you that fruit, fruit in nature was bitter. 
It was never sweet and it was never gigantic and it was never the same size. If you go to a store today, you will notice that all apples look the same. They're the same size, the same weight, the same shininess. It was never like that. Fruit has been hybridized for probably thousands of years when agriculture started. So it's very hard to get your, I think it's almost impossible to get your hands on wild fruit. Wild fruit, the non-hybridized type are like trees that have never been uh, touched by humans. They're very, the fruit is very tiny. Apples are like this size. Strawberries are the size of my uh, uh, fing fingernail. And uh, very tiny and bitter and tart. That's real fruit. Uh, the seeds are huge, gigantic, usually. Why? Because the trees uh, try to procreate and to ensure procreation, the seed is very big and it's bitter so that animals don't eat it, right? Now, it's very hard to get your hands on wild fruit, but I've seen wild fruit when I was in Africa. I picked an apple, I said it in one of my videos, I tried to eat it, it was not edible. So all what you see has been hybridized. How do you hybridize uh, um, a plant? You cut the root and you bring another plant, you cut the root also, or the actually the branch also, you can do it with the branch, and you put them together and you tie them. This is what my, um, uh, my uncle explained to me how they hybridized it a long time ago. So uh, they still do it in Africa. What they do is they grab the trees and if they find a wild tree, they grab it and hybridize it with what? with a sugary plant, sweet plant, like cane sugar or beet, beet roots. So keep in mind when you eat these gigantic store market fruits, they're not natural. They're hybridized, they have uh, cane sugar and they have beet, beet root. It's very hard to find this information also on the internet because this has been done thousands of years ago and all the fruit that you see today has been already hybridized. Very, very hard to get heirloom and, and uh, not hybridized fruit so that's pretty much it be careful with fruit fruit is almost eating fruit high sugar fruit is almost like eating cane sugar uh, to me because that's when I when I when I eat sugar I have all the the stuff flare up that my candida flares up everything just by eating fruits so I try to only eat um, berries and low sugar fruits I discovered dragon fruit. It's delicious. It's a little bit expensive, but it has very low sugar. It's delicious too. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this video has helped you make uh, good choices regarding your uh, foods. And uh, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a like if you like it. Talk to you soon. Bye.